Hello and welcome back to the Misfits Podcast, rated five stars on iTunes by Chuck Speedy one two eighteen. He says, "Good to iron my cat too." Mm. You guys ever ironed your cat? You know, you just get the wrinkles out. I dropped mm-hmm. an iron on myself. What? You know? <laughs> yeah, I did, and it left a massive fucking scar on my chest. Was it a uh, hot? Was it a hot iron? Yeah, on your yeah. chest. Yeah, on my chest, like how, right here. How did you drop an iron <laughs> onto your chest? It's like I when don't know. When you're in bed on your phone and you drop it on your face, yeah. you're just doing the same thing yeah, with well, an iron. When you're just in bed your iron. I don't even know why I was playing with an iron in the first place. Just how, a hot iron. Did you borrow it from Matt? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I didn't borrow it from that. Uh, guys, this is the Misfits Podcast. I'm joined today by my co-hosts, Mason, aka Zuckles. What's going on, boys? Jay, aka McCreamy. Yo, yo, yo. Mr. Swagger Souls himself. Yeah. Toby on the tally. Hello. And of course, our very special guest today, Anomaly from yes. Sweden. Hello. And Pop Anomaly. Hello. Welcome to the show, guys. <laughs> Welcome, you. Anomaly. Can I just get a quick dap up? Do you have dapping in uh, Sweden? Obviously not. You teach your hand to dap up. You do this, and then you fist bump. So okay. That's yeah. all it is. That's like what the gangsters do. Yeah. 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 We gangsters. Yeah. Yeah. We're real gangsters over yeah, here. Yeah, dude. Welcome to Australia, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Um, how, well, we already asked you this beforehand, but I'm going to ask you for the show because I also want to explain your eye. How was the flight, guys? What happened? Like, um, what's, uh, it was pretty long. A total of 32 hours oh. from start to finish. Right. So like all travel time and during that time we couldn't really sleep because we needed to fix our sleeping schedule So it was a long long journey, right? But, I mean we landed and we're okay except for his eye as, Yeah, uh, you can probably tell yeah, what happened again? Uh, it was the night before we left we're gonna record a video with the uh, beer testing. Of course. <laughs> nice. so, yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, explain what beer you do. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, uh, I don't know, we just you drank decided. Beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who gives a shit about your beer? <laughs> and uh, yeah, he uh, he drank a bit too much. Yeah, it was like 15 cans. Holy but, shit. But I don't really <laughs> drank it all, but yeah. half of them maybe. Right. And it was very much to fill up my stomach <laughs> and all the foam. Uh. So I threw up and <laughs> my eyes popped. <laughs> oh my god. This is the day before the flight. Yeah, yeah. The just before, an out on the ordinary the, video. No, it wasn't just the day before the flight, it was like just a couple of hours before the flight. Because oh, oh the flight god. was at like, you know, we need to wake up at 5 a.m. And this was probably at like 12 or so. <laughs> right. And uh, oh, so not the best start. And then the pressure from flying, it just made it worse and worse. So when we yeah. landed, it was just completely red. Oh my god. So. Wow. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's so, a pretty good look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> scary gangster. Yeah, it's badass, you know, you get an eye patch or something, you know. Yeah. Oh, uh, dude, pop an anomaly with an eye patch. <laughs> so fucking awesome. <laughs> um, I mean, for for anyone listening at home who doesn't know who you two are, mm-hmm. I mean, how would you explain like who you are? Well, also, just before you do that, get you to get close to your mic. Yeah, real quick. really, really, okay. really put that bitch right up to your right up to your mouth. Like yeah. like this. Yeah, 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 yeah they were real essential. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> give, it a, give it a little kiss, dude. Yeah. Don't be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Exploiting our guests. Yeah, you, got a little, you got a little hair right here. Hang on. Oh, thank you. Uh, no, obviously. It's a long hair. That's <laughs> <laughs> a very long hair. <laughs> Anyone who follows uh, Counter Strike, which is a lot of our audience, will obviously yeah. know who mm-hmm. you are because, mm-hmm. I mean, God, you've been killing it in CSGO for the longest time. And uh, yeah, so, but, you know, for the people who might not know, how would you sum up yourself? Um, I. Basically, just a guy who makes videos with his dad and tries to be funny mm. and, you know, play games <laughs> and <laughs> do stupid things in real life, like travel 32 hours to uh, mm. sit here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, you came 32 hours just for this show? Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically, Fuck yeah. The, the reason we uh, took this trip was two reasons. Basically, uh, my friend, he works in China, so we decided to go to China and then we ex- expanded on the trip and decided... Uh, we could go to Australia because, mm. you know, I know you guys live here. I know the Cold Ones podcast is mm. here as well. Are you going to do that? Uh, yeah. Oh, well, you no, drink though, right? Uh, no. So you that's why I'm milk the whole thing. Yeah, and I'm bringing my dad, so he'll drink for the <laughs> both oh, of us. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's smart. smart. That's smart. That's the other I know. Yeah. You should finish a gallon. <laughs> you should do a gallon of milk so that you have to throw up. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that would be good. What made you uh, want to do some podcasts? Or? Just, uh, I haven't really met any other YouTubers mm. and I haven't really ever like talked to any YouTubers. Mm. So I decided like, it's, it would be fun to meet some people who I know, like you're, you're all friendly and you're all, you mm. know, funny people. So I decided like, why not just do it? Cause I'm, I'm going to travel to China anyways. And mm. it's such like, it's so far from home. So right. just might as well. Might as well. You know? right? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I was saying how interesting it was um, before we started that like, 
we've kind of known of each other for mm -hmm. so long, yeah. but mm -hmm. we've never collaborated or, yeah, 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 or yeah. even really spoken that much. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think we've even spoken at all, actually. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think so either. So it's funny that our first experience meeting each other was here. Mm -hmm. You know, I get the face reveal right off the bat. Yeah, yeah. And now, you know, here we are. Very beautiful man. Thank, yeah. you, thank you. Thank yeah. you. I, uh, I met the guy. That's like the first impression of Australia. Like when I landed, we went to a... Uh, a food store mm -hmm. in some some like shopping mall nearby and the guy in the cashier like the cashier he recognized me and my dad and oh. one of the first things he said was uh, that I was more handsome in real life than he, mm. as he thought. So. He was probably drunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But yeah, so, I mean, Australia has been treating us really nice so far. Yeah, yeah. I saw you tweet, uh, or after you landed the upside down <laughs> yeah. photo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, was, it, was it hard to adjust to being upside down? Uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of hard not to fall off, like with all the, yeah. but that's why I have so much like iron in the shoes. So, you yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's magnetic. Yeah. Steel toe work. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's difficult down here, but you learn to adapt eventually. <laughs> get yeah. It. Um, yeah, okay. Well, so let's talk about YouTube. Like, when mm -hmm. did you start your channel? Like, how did you I begin this journey? I started uploading in 2006. So that's pretty Holy far. Wow. Shit. Yeah. wow. And then I, because I was like 12 at the time. So I was making uh, Lego stop motion videos. Oh, that's, that's how I started. <laughs> really? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and uh, I just made it actually with Alex, my friend who's mm -hmm. here, the guy going to China. Mm -hmm. And we made, you know, stop motion videos. We had fun with that. And I just sort of really liked making videos. So I, I started making some gaming videos and playing random games here and there, but no, I never really took it serious. It was more about, you know, me and my friends having yeah. fun yeah. and then mm. uploading it for my friends to like relive mm. the, the fun times that we had. And then when CS came out, I, I, cause I was playing a lot of 1.6 and CSS. So I instantly got into CSGO and I was playing it with my friends and so, and then they added the case opening systems uh -huh. and you know, me being the, the gambling addict that I am, <laughs> I decided to spend my like allowance that we got from the college mm. on, on these cases. <laughs> Did Papa know about this when it was happening back then? <laughs> well, I mean, sort of, I, I also borrowed quite a bit of money from my parents uh, uh, yeah. to open these cases. <laughs> so You said we're going to get that back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you have to do, mate, like this in front of everyone? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, then I started opening these cases and then uploading it just so my friends could see like what I unboxed. Mm. And then it just t took off from there. Like people were right. spreading it on Facebook pages and so and it That's was- That's awesome. Yeah. Mm. So it was the, the case the unboxings was kind of what made you explode, right? Yeah, 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 exactly. Right. Yeah. When, I, did, uh, when did you start the Pop Anomaly, Anomaly channel? That, <laughs> I was like almost a year ago now, yeah. I think. And it's just cause I have like, you know, as any YouTuber does, they have so many ideas, but some of them you feel aren't really up to par or like f would fit on the main channel. Yeah, yeah. Totally. So yeah. I decided to make a second channel where I could make those sort of more, you know, stupid videos or yeah. something that wouldn't fit in. Mm. Um, cause I just have, I just think it would be fun. Also yeah. doing it with my dad who is, kind of my best friend and has always been Aww. yeah <laughs> so yeah. That, that that was fun, nice. yeah. fun to do. I've, I've watched a few of your that that channel's videos on stream and mm -hmm. they always love it like a lot of people just have no idea what's going on but mm -hmm. they have a great time watching it yeah. i remember watching uh one of the videos where you 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 bought your dad a uh guitar uh -huh. that, yeah, was, yeah. that was really mm -hmm. cool mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. yeah i love the way that you abuse your dad yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's like the most wholesome abuse I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> there's actually a lot of people who think that that abuse is kind of real and oh, they're like no. you know you can see people are writing timestamps and stuff like you can see at you know 35 oh seconds my God. So afraid uh, because, fear in his eyes. yeah exactly yeah. it's yeah. like it's kind of crazy Blink but it's, if you're he's being actually abused. shackled <laughs> up to the table yeah. 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 don't believe the story about the fl uh, the beer guys he actually <laughs> 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 and that's why he's got the red eye yeah just uh, my anger issues yeah <laughs> so no but it's just me and my dad like having fun and yeah. banter we've always been like that so it's, it's almost like uh the sort of like bam margera jackasses mm -hmm. yeah. sort of stuff yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> But uh, a little less aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> so far. Yeah, so far. <laughs> yeah, you got to keep up in the ante. Yeah. You know? yeah. I was actually talking to my dad about that before we left. Like, I, I said, I actually, like, the day before we left, I said that we kind of have that, the same relationship as Bamarjir and his dad. Uh -huh. And I said, like, but, but less extreme. Yeah. And I mm. said, like, would it be okay if I woke you up in the middle of the night with, like, a crocodile? And he just looked at me like, <laughs> 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 So, yeah, it's, it's more a... Uh, 
uh, friendly way. Yeah, so we can look forward to you waking him up. Yeah, with definitely. A crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why we went to Australia to get yeah, the crocodile. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Take him back in a suitcase. <laughs> uh, has it been weird for you at all, um, like being internet famous or, you know, having, because your face is out there, whereas your son yeah. clearly isn't. So Yeah, we shoot the pretty one to expose. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really, actually. It's. Mm. Sometimes it has been um, a little bit with people running around the house with video cameras and uh, right. stuff, but mm -hmm. otherwise it's everyone is very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, everyone's been very friendly. Yeah, that we met. I must say, uh, your U twos, Pop Anomaly, <laughs> is yeah. my favorite U twos out of all of them. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen it. <laughs> I want to say, say that to the guest yeah. man. I want to say it though. No, no. it's, it's really good. Trust me, man. Damn. Do you get recognized that in public at all much? Or uh, yeah, pretty much. Because do you live in Malta? Uh, uh, as well? No, I go back and forth. Uh, so okay. yeah, I live in Malta. He lives in in Stockholm still. Right. Oh, okay. And you said that was like a uh, three and a half hour flight. Yeah, like three and a half so hours. Oh wow, it's closer than I thought. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's like all of Europe, like three and a half hours. <laughs> so that's. In Europe standard, that's a pretty long flight. Huh. Right. right. Wow. So which wait, where do you prefer being Malta or Stockholm? <laughs> Stockholm. 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 Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were telling us about Malta. It's I have no I like I had no idea what that place was even like, but you said it's like similar to Iraq. Iraq. Yeah. In my head I kinda imagine like, like Iraq. Mediterranean yeah. sort of like I don't know, <laughs> boats and water. Yeah, I mean what? Uh, it's just the buildings look sort of like Middle Eastern because mm. they have to build everything. I think, well, not everything, but they build most of the houses out of limestone. Mm. And, you know, oh. if they paint it, there's like sort of sandstorms, so the paint gets chipped off. So they can't really, you know, make them look like houses in Sweden, for example, or like in Australia. So they, yeah. they mostly look like these Middle Eastern houses. In some pl place you're not allowed to paint. Yeah. Some areas that mm. should look old, but yeah. it's newly built so mm -hmm. no skins on the houses then no definitely <laughs> no <laughs> it's all default yeah. well, the sandstorms happen often then or uh pretty often it's not really like a sandstorm per se but it's more that there's winds and there's sand mixed in it's not mm -hmm. like you'd think you know the sahara yeah, desert practically is a practically sand blasting houses yeah where there's a breeze <laughs> right crazy so mm. yeah we asked you earlier what uh your favorite <laughs> things to do in malta were mm -hmm. I'd say uh, everything is connected to the ocean that I like to do. So it's sailing, it's swimming and diving and jet skiing and that sort of stuff. But on land, I, I don't really do that much. Yeah, like I, I don't know what there's to do. On land, you're working, you're yeah, making exactly. videos, right? Because Malta is a really, really small country. It's mm -hmm. like, I think like four or five Maltas could fit in just Melbourne alone, the city of Melbourne, Whoa. which is insane. Yeah, Whoa. yeah. We, we actually, we know someone, we're not going to name them, but we know someone who uh, moved to Malta mm -hmm. and uh, absolutely just got so bored because <laughs> there's just so little to do there, apparently. Yeah, I mean, I, I do, I spend most of my time like indoors mm -hmm. and you know by the pc so yeah. i have plenty of things to do but yeah. outside like i noticed that when when a lot of my friends came over to malta there there isn't that much to do because the yeah. island is like limited because it you know the size and what you can do so but the yeah. ocean is the go-to place i'd say mm -hmm. right do you ever um plan on revealing your face or do you think you'll keep it private forever i i don't know the the thing is um now it's sort of been a part of it's became become like a part of the character brand yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly mm. and i mean it's not really that i i like i'm shy or anything it's mm. just that it's part of the character and i prefer not to be like super recognized when i go out like yeah. in in malta mm. not that many people recognize me or my dad mm. but in sweden like it's a whole nother story like there right. people mm. recognize Especially my dad, because he's you know he's yeah, out there. The they recognize him a lot. Like yeah. every time he goes to the store or something, which sounds really? like you have like sort of uh, hybrids, but it's not. Like it's just, it's right. just how it is. So if you go to a bar in Stockholm, do you get free drinks? <laughs> <laughs> not yet. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> uh, nice, nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I want to talk a little bit about CS:GO mm -hmm. because obviously that's kind of like you know, I mean, that's pretty much been the main focus of your mm -hmm. uh, career. Uh, 
we talked earlier about like whether you thought that they would come up with a new game uh, soon. I've kind of been hoping that like maybe next year or something, something would come out. But you're thinking that they won't have one for like a long time. Yeah, um, I mean, it all depends. Like right now, they're putting a lot of work into CSGO. Mm -hmm. And I think with these newer style games that build so much outside of the game, like they have the skins, you mm -hmm. know, and they have so many things. Uh, around revolving CSGO, I mm. don't think they could just, you know, drop it and just make a new game. Yeah, because I guess everyone would get really mad if they made a new game and yeah. their skins are basically worth mm -hmm. nothing. Yeah. And Although, I'm sure you could, like, transfer them over, right? Yeah, or that's that's been something I've been thinking about. Maybe they do something, like, where the skins are, like, interchangeable between the games or something like that. But mm. I think that would also... I, I don't know, actually. I, I mean, I wouldn't mind having another Counter-Strike. I think that would be really fun. Like, the upgrade from 1.6 to CSS mm. or CSS to CSGO, those were amazing. Yeah. But I, I think they've kind of built it too big to be able to just drop it like they did in the past mm. and then move on to another game. Yeah. But I'm not sure. Yeah, mm. it would also have to be on par with CSGO and newer games that are being released. Like, if they yeah. just add something yeah. that's mm. not up to par with, like, current <coughs> games, yeah. no one's going to transfer. And, and CSGO got kind of lucky in how big they yeah. became because CSGO was around a long time before it really blew up. And yeah. then, you know, the cases and the skins kind of put them in the in the spotlight. And mm. then they grew really big. And now, uh, can they do that again? Like, yeah, exactly. I'm not sure. Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting because I feel like CSGO is one of those games that, like, just never really gets old like it's so yeah. like it is an old game now mm -hmm. how long been out for what Six? 2012 i think or 2011 yeah. the first version came so, out yeah. it's yeah. just it's so basic yeah. and so well refined mm. at its core that uh it doesn't really date itself yeah the only mm. thing that dates it is the graphics and that doesn't really matter when you're playing it yeah, yeah. those are good and even yeah. then they always updated you have new models and shit mm -hmm. yeah. it's the same like cs 1.6 i mean there's still tournaments going on for 1.6 there's still players who it's crazy to think are like that. yeah, yeah. And that's such an old game mm -hmm. it's just cs games in general kind of are timeless because they 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 never really grow old it's a staple right yeah the, exactly yeah so you uh you obviously played 1.6 in source mm -hmm. like right the way through yeah um i remember i had my first like laptop and I was playing 1.6, and then I found out about CSS, and I installed it, and my mind was blown. Because mm. I was like, the graphics are insane. Like, it's such experience. an upgrade. Yeah, yeah you do? I remember, yeah. Because, yeah, <laughs> 1.6 was, I mean, you look back at that game now, and it looks so dated, mm -hmm, but, yeah. like, it was good times. But when Source came out, it was like, wow, this mm -hmm, is... Yeah, this is such an upgrade. It's crazy. Um, Pop Anomaly, did you uh, do much gaming at all, or are you pretty <clears> much just... Yeah, um, well, I played... Duke Nukem. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my dad also did. Ah, hey. My dad's a big fan of Duke Nukem. <laughs> what is it called? Uh, Doom and all those. Uh, oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. GTA, the mm -hmm. first, uh, mm. first yeah. batch. <laughs> That's actually how I got into gaming. I remember, yeah. like, the first game that I played. I was how old? Like, three years old. And I was sitting in my dad's lap. Mm. And uh, he was playing GTA, like, the first one. You know, the top-down <laughs> game. Yes. And I remember, it's a funny story, actually. Whenever he'd, like, kill someone or run someone over, he'd always say that they were carrying, a like, a, a bot bottle of uh, strawberry jam and that they dropped them. Because <laughs> <No. laughs> so, I was three years old, he couldn't say, like, yeah, I ran him over. Yeah. <laughs> Kill that, Kill that guy. guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. All right, so you're, like, you know, you know, kind of supported the gaming like the whole way through then. I yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. my, my biggest gaming partner when I was a kid was always my dad. We'd be playing, you know, PlayStation yeah, cool. or Xbox awesome. or somewhere. I'm a yeah. very lonely child. <laughs> <laughs> gaming is the way to go. I mean, look at you now. Gaming is your whole career. You know? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. It yeah. worked out, thankfully. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We were talking about how um, gaming is a big thing in Swedish schools now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like, was that a thing when you were at school? or? And, uh, well, I'd say Sweden, like, there's some countries which, like, gaming still is kind of not really frowned upon, but, you know, you, you get put in that specific group of people, like the gamers in the mm -hmm. school. But in Sweden, like, everyone plays games. Like, yeah. it, it doesn't matter what sort of person you are, kind of. Everyone plays games. Like, Fuck, yeah. I remember in high school, for example, uh, the first year, uh, like we had just started and not that many people knew each other but when the Call of Duty I think was Black Ops 1 or 2 mm -hmm. I think it was 1 uh, got released everyone went to the store all the boys from the class went to the store and we waited to buy it and then we bought it and then we were like yo you want to play when we get home and you know that's how that's people why. That's became yeah, friends fuck yeah. <laughs> so was there ever a point where you considered or like trying to be a competitive gamer or actually be really good at the game like <laughs> no it's always for fun yeah I, i've noticed that you know in in some games um i'm okay you know i'm i'm above average but i wouldn't say that i'm anywhere close to being competitive mm. and i don't 
have the the effort i think to put in because this it requires so much mm. practice and yeah. so yeah. much effort yeah, absolutely and constant you, just grinding you've been global in counter-strike though, yes yeah, you? yeah yeah many times it's fucking yeah. insane yeah, <laughs> yeah that in <laughs> itself is huge <laughs> yeah. i never got there i got like legendary eagle i think it's as far as i got you got the legendary eagle. that was before the rank update as well yeah. so like it was easy oh, yeah. back then oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no wonder then uh it's a shit at games just saying i suck yeah i I literally I stream games now. I've realized just how bad I am because uh, <laughs> you're good at Minecraft. I'm not even good at Minecraft. I'm like, I'm Are you terrible. that bad? No, you're not that bad. No. I'm a mess, dude. I, I haven't got my shit together at all. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks when you get that realization of like, you know, I, I'm kind of shit at video games. You yeah. know, you always think like, you know, you're pretty good and so, but then you realize that one day like, I'm shit. That yeah. day sucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you know any people like from your hometown or whatever that? you know have gone on to be pros or uh, I have, there's, there's a girl from my high school who ended up being like a competitive csgo player oh, wow. which is kind of a it's a small world because i became like a csgo youtuber mm. and she became like a csgo pro player as a girl and being a pro player as a girl is kind of rare mm. most mm. of the time mm. so but other than that i don't really know that many people um, right who who kept on the playing you know right when you blew up on um youtube for csgo mm -hmm. did you get a bunch of people from your high school or hometown hitting you up like whoa this is crazy like <laughs> not really because wow. i i didn't i don't really have contact with the people that i weren't friends with you know and also his face is hidden uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah they yeah, probably don't even sense. know to this day yeah <laughs> but uh, there's some people you know who've been like oh you're doing great like keep it up dude mm -hmm. that's insane and that's you know that's always uh, always feels good yeah it's, it's good uh, it's good it's reassuring. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Can we talk about your Twitch ban? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? what the fuck happened? Which one? The first or the second? There's a first one? Yeah, there's a Let's first one. Let's talk about it both. Okay, uh, the first one, it's kind of it's kind of fucked up. I can see why I got banned. Uh, I was playing PUBG, <laughs> and uh, they had just released uh, the prison outfit, like a prisoner outfit, mm -hmm. and my character was uh, of the... I think I did hear about this actually. Yeah, <laughs> my my what? character usually is of the uh, black tanned variation. Black. Yeah, exactly. Tanned black. <laughs> and uh, I uh, so I bought that set of uh, clothes and I put it on my guy and then I laughed and then you know uh, <laughs> and then I got banned. So then it wasn't so dumb. <laughs> you got banned for laughing. Yeah, for 30, oh. 30 days. Thirty oh. days. Oh. Oh. Bands and both have been thirty days. Mm. Wait, 30 days for your first in yeah. a band. That's two, crazy. Two bands, <laughs> and they've both been indefinite, but they've always ended up being 30 yeah. days. So, well, <laughs> That's fucking crazy. That's I'll, fucking I'm definitely hilarious. on like Twitch parole now. <laughs> I have to stay calm. Wait, oh, so, so what was the second band? The second band was... Okay, this is actually... I love this one. <laughs> so, uh, me and my friends were going to record a little Minecraft video for the second channel, just having fun. Mm -hmm. And I decided to uh, change my skin to a particular oh. German leader. <laughs> 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 Changed it yourself? Yeah, I, did. Oh, I thought like you just logged in and it was there by accident. Oh no no no! It was definitely put there like consciously. I was I was going to make the video with my friends and I was gonna log into our server and I'm gonna be like, oh, I thought we were playing Minecraft, ha, ha, you know. And then, then I forget the skin and I log in and I I'm like, okay, let me check my inventory and I see Hitler staring at me. So I'm like, oh no! And then I laugh and then you know, 30 day ban. You should Don't, stop laughing. Oh, stop laughing. Yeah, yeah. It's as simple as that. You go, oh, this is terrible. Because yeah. <laughs> with, with Twitch, I've noticed like uh, your your intention or whatever matters a lot. Like if yeah. I wouldn't have laughed there and I would have been serious, yeah. like that's not okay. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm s that, then I probably wouldn't even have gotten banned. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm kind of shit when it comes to that. I if know. I see something that's funny, I always <laughs> yeah, laugh. I, I, I feel I just, like it's, it's most people's like natural response to yeah. to laugh at something that, that that's fucked up to try to disarm the situation and not make it awkward yeah exactly. it's just weird that you're punished for laughing because <laughs> I mean, it's fucking hilarious yeah yeah <laughs> I guess Twitch did, probably didn't know that, like, you forgot. They might have thought you did it on purpose. Yeah, and yeah, yeah probably. Like, F5 and started laughing <laughs> yeah. at it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so you're unbanned now, then? Yes, I got, uh, thankfully, appealed my ban, and they unbanned me after, I think, 26 days. So oh, I damn. had to wait all that time, and then they appealed my ban, like, four days after it was supposed to run out. So mm. Hey, yeah, four uh, days. Yeah. Take it. Yeah. I'm, I'm still <laughs> yet to be banned on Twitch. Which oh, is damn. <laughs> I ride the line a lot. Yeah, you I like really to play with do. The line. Yeah, dude, it's fun. I've been banned like seven times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why do you get? What are your, your reasons for getting banned? Uh, 
in my in my bio, it's, I said I was twelve in the league. Age. <laughs> <laughs> the league age streams thirteen. So actual catfish. <laughs> yeah, actual catfish. But yeah, you got banned for that twice, right? Yeah, twice. Oh, you changed the bio. So stupid. Because it was fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> then he got banned for saying the faggot word. Oh <laughs> yeah, that was a wait. Did I? Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. that was the recent one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> shit. Yeah. Fuck. That was like a month ago. It was like, you, <laughs> made, you made a video it on it. Like a stream. <laughs> you made a video on it. Well, yeah, you did. I probably did slip up, but yeah, you know, shit happens. The Twitch is hard for Australians. What, wasn't there another oh, one? Hundred percent. Were, were you playing Arma or something, and then some guy just unmuted his mic and started screaming <laughs> yeah. the N word. Yeah, and then you yeah. Said, and, and then you screamed. I screamed shut back. The fuck up. I screamed. Shut the fuck up back. And yeah. then Wait, and you got banned for that? Yeah, you got, you got banned, banned for that. Really? Then I've been lucky many times because I remember first time playing the Call of Duty World. War II, uh, th- I didn't know how to mute people, and there was a guy just screaming the N-word like a hundred times all over here. Because he was like, oh, somebody's streaming? And then he just started like, <laughs> And I was like, no, no, stop, stop, stop. And then I couldn't mute him, so I just had to leave like half a minute later, but I didn't get banned, thankfully. Yeah, wow. it's, it's usually like they understand that there's just toxic people that, oh, yeah. if you're streaming, I'll just say this word and it'll be funny, and then mm-hmm. you just have to leave. Yeah. So I, they're more understanding on that. Mm-hmm. So th- that's helpful. But if, yeah. if you laugh and you go, hey, say it laugh. again, yeah. Then, yeah. Then, then you're gone. Yeah. Happened to me two days ago. I was streaming GTA RP and someone found the server I was on, ran up to me and just started shouting it. And I was like, there's no way to mute in this. And <laughs> Why don't you just shoot him? <laughs> oh, that would have been his scary, character was, was ad- his character black? No, <laughs> the admins wouldn't have cared if I did just shoot him. You're right, but yeah, no. I would have just gunned him down. I think they can still <laughs> talk about okay, American oh, in a <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, Twitch is interesting. Uh, do you stream a lot? Uh, yeah, I, I stream quite a bit, but I don't really. Uh, advertise my stream mm. very much on mm. my YouTuber, so it's just my sort of side thing that I do just for fun, like playing games. Thing. Yeah, just really laid back. Do you normally just stream CS or? Uh, I like CS a lot of Minecraft mm-hmm. and recently Cube World. I've been oh. looking forward for that oh. game for six oh, years. No. Dude, what have you just started? What have you, what have you just <laughs> begun here? Swagger Souls has no joke. Been talking about Cube World like every week on our podcast for months. <laughs> up until it's released, like he's been hyping it up, he's been saying it's coming out. What well, he didn't shut the what fuck are you, out. What do you do? What are your honest <laughs> thoughts? I, I'm gonna be honest. I I prefer the old version with the XP and the leveling and the talent system and so. But I've just waited so long. I don't give a shit, dude. I'm just I'm playing it a lot <laughs> where, now. Just, where are the quests? Yeah. Where the, are the grand cities? Yeah. Are you disappointed? <laughs> <laughs> I'm writing a 30 minute long review video. <laughs> Okay, he's yeah. just gonna shit on it for thirty minutes. I, I don't know about. I, I I reached out to the fucking creator of that mm-hmm. game for an interview. Did he respond? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. No. He did not. Honestly, it feels like he just dipped with the money once again. Like it seems very odd to me. It's just weird. How do you work on a game for six years, post and tease all this new content that doesn't make it to the final version in the last year of development, completely scrap everything, and then mm-hmm. just fuck your game up and make everything that was fun about the game completely fucking wrong. Sorry, because I was a seer. Right <laughs> oh, dude, it's fucking, it blows my mind. It's just a slap in the face. In a way, uh, this is going to sound way worse than what I mean. I am glad that you are disappointed, but not, not like, not like, oh, that's funny. But in a way, like, uh, I'm just glad that you aren't like filled with like nostalgia goggles. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah you know, no, no, I thought rules. that might happen. I was cautiously optimistic yeah. and I wanted to give it a, proper try mm-hmm. and play at least 20 hours mm-hmm. to see yeah. what what i can do just region locking what the fuck yeah what I'm the play- fuck i'm playing now for i think 32 hours or something and it just gets so repetitive that the region there's, locking you just start over and over and over mm-hmm. and then the goal is to get these artifacts and they give you like swimming speed you know, like, like what the fuck boost. Dude? <laughs> yeah <laughs> there's no reason to craft shit there's yeah, no exactly. reason to add what happened to spirit cubes dude yeah exactly and uh, like none of us have any yeah, idea yeah i'm so <laughs> right now yeah. let's move on <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We go on a tangent. Uh, I, talk, I wish you fucking told me you liked Cube World. I would, I would have just talked to you about that before the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, PQ World. You know. So a huge yeah, amount of your really. content was like skin based. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I mean, what, what's like the craziest thing you've unboxed? Uh, I did a trade up for an AK-47 Stat Track minimal wear scar pattern. Six six one pattern. Oh, I remember. I this. sold that one for bank transfer thirty two thousand dollars. Fuck me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So for anyone who doesn't know, uh, there is a skin in Counter Strike that is a case hardened, 
And essentially, oh, the way the case out and works. You must have sold that to a fucking Saudi prince. Dude. I did actually. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! Basically, the way the case out and skin works is there's this there's this big pattern, this big picture, mm-hmm. and it like slaps the the AK on the picture randomly, mm-hmm. so you get a random pattern, and you just got one of the yeah. best patterns and it's Star Trek, which is even better. It's blue, yeah. right? All blue. Yeah, it's all yeah. blue. It's the score pattern because there's a tiny sliver of like the gold pattern, uh, but then you can oh put a sticker shit. there and then it's completely blue. And then oh. like the skin is one in a thousand. There's a thousand patterns and there's only one that's that blue and that's the 661 and that's the one I got. Oh you shit, oh did you shit your pants? I did. Did, I you, did. did you wreck them <laughs> in the <laughs> Yes, yes. I oh. severely <laughs> underestimated how much it was worth at a time. I said that it could be like five to 10k but then you know wow. the bidding just kept going crazier and crazier and i only obviously accepted a bank transfer because i wanted it to be safe i didn't yeah, want to yeah, yeah, get yeah. scammed in yeah. any way yeah so i just took people who are like well respected and who are known to be buying these sort of skins yeah and i just had them bid each other and then you know i sold it to the winner so how do you actually uh, complete the transaction do you send the skin first or they send no, the money? no no <laughs> he sent the money first uh, and i okay. waited until wow, i had it in my bank and then i told him yeah like, here you go and i gave him the skin and that was wow. it do you think it was worth more because you're anomaly uh, i've heard that it was worth slightly more because of it and probably because of the video you know it has yeah. a, a, co- a few it's million hype views. around it yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh, so i think that definitely added some sort of value like you know this is the ak that was because i got it on video as well mm, which was lucky nice. so that's insane <laughs> i think that might be one of i think that's the only recorded like trade up or opening of that 661 pattern i think Thirty-two thousand US. Yeah, US Fucking dollars. Crazy. Yeah. Fucking wow. The That's other, so I mean, there's been a few YouTubers that have unboxed them insane stuff. Yeah. Like Sparkles. Yeah, the souvenir, the souvenir dragon, dragon lord. Mm. That's that's mm. like twenty k as well. That's yeah. Insane. And I think I think uh, Watch Games TV unboxed the souvenir. Yeah, dragon yeah, yeah. He as did well. as well. Yeah. Mm. It's been. I, I I love going to YouTube and searching. You know, crazy unboxings. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I had a massive phase like that. <laughs> <laughs> like a couple of years yeah. back. That's I mean, all I'd watch. like to, to people that were into uh, like skins and, and stuff and, and the Counter-Strike economy, like I was a huge Counter-Strike gambler mm-hmm. back in the day. I mean, the Anomaly brand was just fucking iconic. It yeah. was like synonymous with fucking uh, case unboxes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Just the just, hype. Just you screaming and going, <laughs> going Papa! Papa! <laughs> it's a knife! It's a knife! It's a knife! That shit was gold. <laughs> and then you get the grotto, you know? <laughs> Those were good times. Those were yeah. simpler times. Yeah. I was happier back then. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm jaded. <laughs> Hit your jewel, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> no more juice and it's dead. It's oh, Q-Roll. No. Oh. Q-Roll's destroyed this man. <laughs> um, Pop Anomaly. Do you have any embarrassing stories about uh, Anomaly here? Or is he preventing you from telling anything? Just look at him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literal uh, mask right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, not really. I, he's been very good. Yeah, nice. Well, how's uh, it been like watching you know, his rise on the internet and on YouTube? Like, has it been, at first, was it odd to you? Did you understand it from the bat or what? I, I don't think we understood from the beginning what, what was happening. We thought, mm. okay, he's making some videos. And then he got sponsor and he... Right, the yeah. viewers rise and but it actually took a long while from when i started youtubing until i took like the first sponsor yeah like yeah i the first year of me youtubing i had no network no sponsors no like you know managers or anything mm, just a it hobby was, yeah. yeah it's just me you know making videos yeah, and then we were all similar right there yeah yeah, yeah. Sure. and then i realized like you know there are sponsors that could actually you know pay for me to advertise something mm. and then i i didn't want to do it like my sponsored stuff in a regular what well, regular way that people some people do which is just like hello so this is audible.com you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so i decided to that i every sort of sponsor i would try my hardest to make it as fun as possible for the viewers yeah to and watch. entertaining mm-hmm. yeah because everybody wins in that scenario because mm-hmm. you have fun making a good video the sponsor is happy because the video is good and entertaining and you know and then the viewers are happy because it was an entertaining video and literally everybody wins yeah, the worst exactly. part the worst thing is when you uh you try to make an entertaining sponsored video and they're like oh we no, just no, wanted no. yeah we just I, wanted yeah. A standard yeah. Video. I hate when that happens yeah. yeah i've had to cut so many like jokes and so yeah. many mm. like edgy things yeah and yeah, yeah it's, Companies yeah. don't understand. Yeah. What, uh, you got to well, work yeah. with good companies or just push back and go, nah, 
Now yeah. I'll just scrap the video, and then yeah. and then they'll be like, okay, fine. Oh okay. shit. Yeah. Just do it. Well, our videos are pretty edgy, you know, with the humor. <laughs> yeah. So like, we, we we ripped a bong in our in our latest sponsored oh, video, dude. dude. <laughs> yeah, it was this so game good. called Hot Lava. It's uh -huh. so like a, much fun. It's like CS:GO Bunny Hop, but a video game. Yeah, okay. and we just got high as fuck from recording <laughs> it, and just yeah. like the entire vi video was just stoner conversation. It was um, pretty good. But thankfully, they were like a really dope company. And oh, they, like, dude, Clay, just Clay is awesome. Yeah. Or Clay. So, yeah. I mean, it's. It, I think brands are learning now to actually mm -hmm. research the YouTubers they're yeah. sponsoring and be like, okay, we know. Like, yeah, because there are some it. companies that just want advertising. They don't care like who yeah. does it. And yeah, those are the sort of ones that would you know push back and be like, no. Yeah, we don't want I this. mean, a lot of them they just go to a, a marketing agency mm -hmm. and just say, yeah. hey, here's a million dollars for a year. You know, get me advertising. Yeah, and the marketing agencies just do what they're told. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have to pee really bad. Pee, go pee. I'll be right back. It's a casual pee. show. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone else need a pee? You're good? Yeah, I'm good. No, we're good. I'll just use his helmet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, true. Would be the first. What? Uh, no. Uh, so, I mean, what's kind of next for you? Do you have anything planned for the future? Or are you still kind of coasting with Counter-Strike and the IRL I, videos? I, I don't really have anything planned. Mm. I just, I never really do. I just, you know, make videos that I think are fun now. And then I, I see what happens, I mm -hmm. guess. I mean, I always like to venture into new things. Mm. And yeah. Uh, I, I guess I'll just see see what happens. Yeah, uh, are you still like genuinely enjoying Counter Strike as a game? Um, I mean, yes and no. Mm. Um, the eco the economic side of it, I've always liked. You know, trading, making profit. You know, trading for keys, getting more keys, and just mm. building the inventory. Right. And uh, the game itself, I mean, it's it's CS, right? It gets repetitive yeah. after because you can only do so much things on like the Dust Two. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, I, I'd say I enjoy it still, but less, you know, I mm -hmm. could play like 10 hours before, no problem. But now, you know, after a few hours, then I'm like, okay, now yeah. I need to do something else. Right. Do you ever think you'd transition on the main channel into like another game or something? Or I mean, if people like it, then yeah, I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't mind doing it. Mm -hmm. I've already, I'm happy that I started doing these real life videos early because I really enjoyed making those with my dad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like now going here, I'm making videos, you know, sort of vlog style. Yeah. And I really enjoy making those. Do you, uh, so when you vlog out in public, mm -hmm. <laughs> you're wearing the... Uh, uh, no, usually I just film like from uh, my point of view. Okay. Uh, sometimes I wear the, the mask, but I mean... Obviously, you can't do it everywhere. Yeah, I was gonna because yeah. if you see a guy with a mask walking Yikes. around yeah. in the airport, <laughs> probably like a black object in his yeah. head, like, it around. Yeah. <laughs> I get a little suspicious there. Um, no, it's cool. I mean, yeah, we're we've kind of branched into the vlogging and stuff um, mm -hmm. over the last year as well with this whole Misfits thing, but probably need to do it more. So yeah, if you want to take us with you to Japan, I mean, we'll take along. <laughs> yeah, sure, we'll, you invite we'll, them. We'll squeeze in. Have you ever thought of doing a podcast or anything? Uh, I have, but then like not many of my friends are really interested in YouTube at all. Mm -hmm. That's I'm, I'm kind of jealous at the setup you mm -hmm. have here. You know, a bunch of friends, a nice like setup, and you all live like close together. Mm. And I have like no friends that do YouTube that I know that live close to me. I'm yeah. starting to get some friends like interested in YouTube, but they they haven't been interested a long time. They're just getting into it mm, now. Yeah. Sort of. So right. I mean, we all started on Discord. Uh, yeah, you know, we, with the podcast, yeah. We were around the world. And tomorrow, funnily enough, is our first ever live show. Yeah, mm. fuck that. Which is really <laughs> fucked. You nervous? Like, yeah. <laughs> Not It'll go fine, it. dude. We have the whole Twitch kind to talk about. Oh, uh, yeah, so, good. Yeah. yeah. You know, you just, I don't know. Just sit I'll there just sit there and annoyed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go, oh, yeah, cunt, that's mad. Yeah, cunt, that's mad. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> yeah, we're basically going to be doing this, but on a stage in front of like 500 people, okay. which I've never done before. Tesha. <laughs> so. You've never done before in 500 people? No, that's, well, that's, not. We've never done it live. Yeah, no, so yeah, 500 yeah. people audience, that's, that's kind of. It's a, a lot, lot of scary. people. Yeah. Some heads. Are you nervous? A little bit. I mean, I think that it'll go fine because. You know, talking for an hour is not that hard. You yeah. know, it's not like we actually have to like perform a musical act yeah, or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. There's no like putting on a character. Yeah, there's no, anything. there's no script. Yeah, and I think our fans are, you know, they know us. They know we're pretty scuffed. They know they're, yeah. they're yeah. probably not expecting like a super <laughs> clean performance. And whatever, we've but. made it clear on the podcast that this could be a shit show, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and that's why we're doing a test before we do an actual tour. Yeah, you know, no, we'll bring you backstage. You'll do a guest appearance. You'll just just good. come out at one point, just like. Crowd surf or something. <laughs> <laughs> do you think they'll, they'll be able to carry me? I don't think so. You're a unit. You're a unit. You are a unit. You can just be in the background backstage. No one can see you, but all they can hear is. Papa! 
<laughs> yeah, we'll just have you on a projector screen unboxing knives in the background. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's just saying, what, what, what's happening well, who there? Who that fuck guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, the CSGO cases, uh, you still make videos, obviously, where you uh, unbox mm-hmm. just the regular yeah. CSGO ones. I, I mean, this probably isn't a question I should ask, but... How much total do you think that you've spent on cases and cases? <laughs> oh my god. That's a really good obviously question. You don't, you you don't, don't have, have to. to. Obviously, like, it's a very There's, like, there's actually a way you can check that. Oh, no. <laughs> if you, uh, yeah. you can go to, like, your, your Steam badges, and then you can go to your CS badge, and you can check, like, how to earn badges. Oh, and if no. you click there, you'll see how much you spent on CS. Oh, I've geez. checked once, and I regretted it. Yeah. yeah <laughs> I would it's, not it's pretty check. bad. And uh, could I could check my bank account. <laughs> 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 How, how close is it to what you sold your uh, your AK for? Um, I'd say it's over what I sold my AK for, <laughs> but okay. it's it's I've still sold other items that I've yeah. I've gotten. Yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. definitely in the profit Good. overall, which is cool. very lucky. Plus, it's like content. I was talking to yeah. um, some live streamers the other day, and they said that because like opening cases on CS:GO, mm-hmm. a lot of people still do it on Twitch. And they were saying that it's it's just buying content. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <'Cause>, you, know, <laughs> yeah. you pay for the little key and then you get like, what, a few seconds yeah. of content. So you're just yeah. kind of like, you know, it's good. You know, it's all makes, about them clips. It makes entertaining <laughs> yeah. videos, yeah. right? Yeah. I, I, I mean, a lot of your new case opening content is ripped from your streams, right? So it's just, you know, you'll be opening yeah, cases just on like, stream. It's not often that I would sit down and like yeah. record a unboxing video and get something. Yeah. Yeah. Might as well be live. There's more hype. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and exactly. then I, that's why I try to open many cases on stream because then, you know, it's fun for the people who are watching and if i get something good i can turn it into a video which is always yeah. fun yeah you know yeah. the only like recorded uh unboxings i have now is basically me and my dad doing like the drunk unboxing mm. things yeah which uh i, mean, I love you them can, yeah you can, look his, <laughs> you can look at his eye yeah. <laughs> yeah did you always drink before uh the videos <laughs> yeah <laughs> or if you like developed a, a problem because <laughs> you might be like papa drink more, yeah, yeah, more, more. more. it's crippling alcohol as, as the videos. <laughs> um yeah, I said to you before, uh, I, I keep saying this, but I said to you before we started the show uh, that, you know, maybe a lot of people don't know much about you, like, mm-hmm. as a person because, you know, you kind of just make the funny videos and yeah. you don't have a show like us. Um, like, what's something that people might be surprised by you by or you know, a uh, fact that might be... Many people are surprised that I, I don't drink or mm. smoke. Yeah. Or I, I was like, so taken aback by that. Now, yeah. Yeah. To be honest with you, kind of disappointed <laughs> <laughs> you're always disappointed about that though. <laughs> no. i wanted to smoke some weed with you i mean have, have you ever smoked weed or drank? I, no i've never even i've never tried alcohol uh, or like uh, tobacco or weed or anything i think that's because like when i was younger my parents would be uh, kind of bribing me they'd be like if you uh, if you turn 18 and you haven't you know drank or smoked or done anything like that they'd give me money and then <laughs> i just really? you know yeah and they kept upping it like when i turned 18 i was like yo so where's the money bro <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. then my parents were like yo if you turn 20 <laughs> then you get more money i'm like, okay dude i'm not gonna drink anyways and then it just kept upping and upping and yeah then, so now <laughs> it's at seven million dollars <laughs> <laughs> when he like, turns 50. <laughs> <laughs> Get inheritance. Yeah. <laughs> I remember being like 15 at a Christmas party with all my family. My granddad just called me a pussy for not drinking. <laughs> dude, I can shout to your granddad, yeah, dude. I mean, like, That's the homie. <laughs> That's all I can remember about that. <laughs> hey, your granddad drinks like crazy as well, right? Well, I mean, it's his job. What do you mean he, as he, well? He, he, <laughs> 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 uh, well, yeah, he's yeah, like a wine yeah. guy. He's, right? a, he's a wine and food writer, but I don't drink mm. either. So whenever I go out for lunch with him or something, he just, I can't say no to him. And uh-huh. he just fills me up with alcohol because <laughs> I don't drink. I have no tolerance at all. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And yeah. I go home from a lunch with my granddad just plastered. <laughs> 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 Having some like sushi and you come back yeah. plastered. Wish my family was that cool. <laughs> yeah, I've only met him once and I also got very drunk with him. At that He's dinner. a cool dude. He is a cool dude. Yeah. 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 Let's get him on the podcast. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> he would be interesting. He's got a lot of stories. Uh, 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 what's your favorite food anomaly? Sushi. That's really? actually Ooh. part of the reason we're going to Japan after this. Oh, is oh yeah. The, the food is so good. So. Yeah. And uh, they have pretty good sushi in Malta because it's, you know, it's ocean everywhere. It's a mm, fresh true, fish. True, true. So, uh, but you have some good sushi here as well. Like in mm, Australia, I've noticed mm. there's a lot of Asian people I've noticed. That's in Australia. Right. Yeah, yeah. Have you been yeah. to Nobu? 
Uh, yeah, yeah, we went yesterday actually. Oh, nice. Yes. Nice. And that, nice restaurant. That's so good. Yes. Very good. So good. Yeah. We love yeah. Nobu. Mm-hmm. You can yeah. you can get it delivered to the office. You can. Mm-hmm. Oh my mm-hmm. god. I've had it. I had it on my birthday on stream. Everyone donated and uh, paid for my Nobu dinner. <laughs> 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 the epitome of privilege. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. What about you, Papa Normally, What's your favorite food? It's really that canned stuff, right? <laughs> 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 oh, no. <laughs> it's <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, it's actually, I think it's, I don't know, fried Beer. herring with, it's like salted, very Swedish traditional food mm-hmm. with uh, sauce with onions and it's, Beautiful. Coming in a vi- video, mm-hmm. so you can oh, see yeah. how you don't do it. <laughs> well, you, you cooked it? Yep. Oh, nice. Oof. Well, you're a good cook? Uh, no, I, I only cook for the videos, basically. <laughs> I don't yeah. And it's always my dad helping me or someone else. You should do mm. cooking streams, dude. Master I chef. have done that once, actually, and really? it was pretty fun. But yeah. it's just the... Uh, the lamps in this mask, it's so hot. Like, I bet you can oh, relate. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, wearing this fucking mm-hmm. thing, it's, uh, yeah. it's, it's a bit of an issue. Yeah. It's good when it's cold, surprisingly. It's like a giant windshield. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps you warm. Yeah. But man, when the summer hits, it's just a little oven. I mean, and summer hair is like 30, mm-hmm. 30 something degrees. Yeah. That's why, yeah. that's why yeah. the chain mail helps, because this keeps you cool. Yeah. Summer hair gets good. pretty bad. It gets like yeah. 50 degree days. Sometimes. I'm not even fucking with that. It's those. definitely <laughs> not <laughs> oh, You <laughs> search up the most hottest day <laughs> in Australia, it's 50 degrees. Oh, actually, no, I, I think that was the like the hottest no, ever recorded. The hottest ever we recorded was like, I think it was like 52. Yeah, that's like mm. the hottest ever. Though. But <laughs> the days, climate change and shit, it's only going to get worse. <laughs> the globe is warming, my friends. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. Everyone's going to melt. <laughs> everyone in Australia is just going to have air cons on. Yeah. That's just going to be the future of Australia. So. It'll cool the yeah. place down. Climate Australia. change is fucking bad. <laughs> 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 Spokes, spokesperson for climate change. What a, it's a very controversial opinion. <laughs> Nature has been saved. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so what else are you looking forward to doing in Japan? I mean, you have a big trip ahead of you. Yeah, that's the thing, though. I haven't really planned anything. Like, same with Australia. I just knew that hopefully I'd get to be on the podcast and meet you guys because mm. it was fun. Same with the, the Cold Ones podcast. But other than that, I've not planned anything really for for any of the countries. Yeah, well, you're lucky. Mm, we really didn't it. want to have you on. <laughs> <laughs> just squeezed you in, you know. Yeah. <laughs> the end of the day. Y'all want to leave? Y'all hate this? Oh, uh, yeah. This is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, we should play Counter-Strike. I do want to, like, uh, actually play for videos with other YouTubers and stuff. I or? mean, the thing is, I, like... People say that I'm like socially awkward, but that's with people that I don't know. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, I think everyone has a bit of that, you know. Hundred percent, of course. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, I, I mean, I'd love to to play with other YouTubers. It's just that I I'm not always the guy to take the first step because I'm like, you know, well, you know, it feels like you know mm. they probably don't want to do this. That's, that's very like common. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, for me, it's like my because my sense of humor can be kind of abrasive. Like mm-hmm. I tend to do a lot of like you know fuck with people and roasting people or just mm-hmm. making comments that kind of like stab at people yeah, yeah i so, thought you hated me when i meet you people i i go quiet because it's like what can i say here yeah. and then slowly i'll start jabbing yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like, yeah. Like, what can i say thing. to you and you'll t- mm. be okay yeah you, you, you like measure their level of yeah. like tolerance like oh yeah. no that was too far okay yeah. let's keep it like over here yeah. and then you know oh. other people you can like mm, exactly oh getting a band on twitch was too far okay yeah, okay i'll not that down i'll change my skin for the next stream <laughs> yeah. Take actual notes. Yeah. Like, all right, flip through. All right, this guy's a pussy. All right. No, no Have you ever been on like live stream fails or anything that you know uh, of? I mean, yeah. The Hitler thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Both of my thing. bands and like some weird things as well. There was like a CS update and they just clipped like a part of my stream and that that came on live stream fails because it was with the sprays or something. Okay. And I just showed that in a way it could look like a player. So that's like a boring thing. Yeah. But also I was playing like a sponsored mobile game and Dr. Disrespect had also been sponsored by them. So then uh, people in my chat said that Dr. Disrespect was like number three on the leaderboard. So I went there and I was like, oh, Dr. Disrespect. And I clicked on his name and then I see that I could report him. So I clicked report oh. and then for cheating. <laughs> <laughs> so I yeah, I've like, never seen that. That's like one of my most viewed clips. Yeah, I, I've <laughs> yeah. seen that. There's also, um, there was also a clip to do with Auschwitz. Oh yeah, my, yeah. F- my friends on my Minecraft server, they built Auschwitz on it. I was planning on building a farm. <laughs> what the 
<laughs> my, like, I had my house like up on a hill and I had a really nice view and there was like a tiny island over here and I had planned on like building like a big farm, you know, glass, uh, like a dome. And uh, I, I wake up one day, like I've been mining all day and then I wake up the next day and there's like this big concrete <laughs> thing. And I'm like, what the fuck? I was gonna build my farm there. So I, f I go over there and then I see like it, it's, you know, with the banners, they made like the old German flag. And I was like, oh no. And I was streaming at the time. So then I would go in and there's just concrete, like cobblestone and uh, incinerators, like fires and stuff. No. And signs in German. And I was like, oh no. Man. I was like, oh, I'm getting banned. What is with you Swedish people? <laughs> <laughs> and associated with Nazis. Yeah, I saw that on YouTube. It's got like 3 million views yeah, or something. I saw that. <laughs> it's just oh. gold. Ah. But that, I mean, if you look at it from a humorous perspective, uh, like, oh, it's yeah, funny. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, Dude, it's Auschwitz and Minecraft. It's fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. The amount of shit that we've said in our videos and mm -hmm. gotten away with, you know, you're, yeah. in, you're in good company here. You know, uh, that's yeah. good. That's I was going to judge you for No, no, nobody. I humor, think it's epic. Yeah, my humor is like, sometimes it's pretty out there. Like, yeah. where, mm. I mean, I've gotten banned for like some stupid things, for mm. example, but you know, I, I think you can joke about most things, you right? You can joke about anything, man. Anything yeah. you yeah. want. Like, yeah, it's just, yeah. I mean, I guess, like, you know, Twitch has the responsibility yeah. <laughs> as a platform. They don't want to associate with it. Well, it's but. just, you know, the, the people that moderate Twitch and decide the bands, they all have different opinions. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, either, either the cool guy goes, ah, oh, that's funny and not that bad. You're good. Or it's the SJW with green hair that goes, nah, nah, this is all wrong. Perm. Yeah. <laughs> no appeal. <laughs> This is, there's, no. two, there's two people that work at Twitch. One with green hair yeah. and one is a normal guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I'm lucky. I always get the green haired lady and she sides with me. <laughs> uh, yeah, would you ever, like, I don't know. How, how do you feel about Twitch as a platform compared to YouTube? I, I feel YouTube is much more chill. Like, you can do yeah. m much more mm. things on YouTube. When, when you're on Twitch, you know, you have to limit yourself. You know, there's certain yeah. words you can't say. There's certain things you can't say or joke about. But overall, like, I mean, Twitch is the, the biggest streaming platform now. Mm. So I guess we all just have to, like, yeah. conform. I like the culture. The Twitch culture, the chat. Yeah, the mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, Twitch yeah. chat, that's the best thing yeah, ever. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah. Yeah. My chat sucks, but I'm converting them slowly. <laughs> I'm, like, trying to teach them. Um, do you get demonetized on YouTube a lot? Uh, yes and no. Like, always when I upload, I tend to get demonetized. But then when I go for the, uh, the manual review, yeah, the appeal, really? uh, they actually monetize it quite often. It's just yeah. some mm -hmm. videos and some weird videos as well. Like, yeah. I've noticed, uh, speaking about skins again, I made recently a video, like, where to sell and buy skins. Mm. Uh, just like going through some sites, like here you can sell, here you can buy, you know, the pros and the cons and rating them. And that video got instantly demonetized uh, and I went for the manual appeal and it got demonetized completely. And I don't really mm. know why. Whoa. I guess they're just like against skins or I got unlucky. Yeah. yeah, it's probably like the whole loot box thing, I guess. Yeah. YouTube's yeah. trying to crack down. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, fuck YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, I guess you guys get a well, bit more demonetization? It's to be weird. Honest, like, I don't get hit that yeah. badly. It's like a, it's like a yeah. coin flip, you know? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Usually. And, and like, I've had videos where I've said some really horrendous stuff <laughs> go green and videos that weren't that bad go yellow. You know, I, had just, a, I had a VR chat video in the first 15 seconds, uh, full N-word, hard R, uh, <laughs> said by somebody and then another, <laughs> and another 10 seconds after that, again, three times the N-word, hard R. Was that video sponsored as well? No. Oh, it I wasn't. remember one that was. Yeah, no. I oh, wait. I think it had a pre-roll. <laughs> no. No, uh, no, this, no, no way. I remember you messaged me about it, though, and be like, because, is this no way. No, yeah, yeah, no because, <laughs> because I messaged him because I had cut it. I had, like, bleeped it. And he goes, yeah, it kind of takes away the joke. You should just uncensor it. And I was like, yeah, yeah that's true. And then I just, and, and, but he was like, you shouldn't have put <clears> it at the front. But anyways, yeah. I upload it. It's It's green. Mm -hmm. And it's then it, and it was green for like a day and then it got demonetized. And I was like, yeah, fuck it. I'll submit for manual review. Submit for manual review. And it went green and it stayed green for like <laughs> four months. And I was just like, yeah, all right. <laughs> cool. Because Take the, it. I don't know. The bit, the whole bit was like some guy said it. And then like I started chewing him out and I started, you know, like screaming him, screaming at him and going like, oh, yeah, why like, would you say that? You know what? You're so wrong. Yeah. And, you know, watch your mouth and mm -hmm. all that. So I like played it as like a bit. Mm. So 
I don't know. Maybe, I didn't say it myself. Maybe like the the context matters. The yeah. guy thought or something. Dude, like, I, I think it's so. just a bot that's like. I, I think know. that as well. <laughs> I think it's oh, random. oh, that guy. It's just it's, it's the end word. I thought I said like bigger or something like that. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> <then. Yeah. laughs> Careful. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, you know what. What do you think your favorite video you've ever made is? Like, is there anything that you're really proud of on your channel? I or? mean, there, there are some videos. <laughs> why, why are you Have you seen his channel? <laughs> <laughs> there's, nothing, there's nothing to be proud of. There's, there's some gold in there, but you know, is there anything that you've worked on like particularly hard or is, is it all kind of just the uh, I mean, memes? There's some that I'm proud of. Like I'm proud in the sense that it was really lucky, like the, the trade up for the AK, but proud more in a sense of like, I thought of this and I made it and it turned out really good. I'd mm. say one of the favorites is probably uh, the one where I give my friend like a car. And it's oh, a I really love that one. Yeah, yeah. spray painted and yeah. fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that video. Yeah, and then it gets smashed again. <laughs> yeah. And then it's him crying. It's just so stupid. But yeah, it's like really videos, good. videos like that where you have an idea and then you get to realize the idea and it yeah. turns out good. Well, the I, filming day must have been fun. Yeah, it, it was so have, fun. It must have been a lot of fun to make. Those yeah. are the best kinds of videos, the ones that are fun to produce. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, definitely. And it always shows in the content as well if you're having yeah. fun. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Although we've, we've had some times where we've made videos that, uh, like especially sponsored videos, that we've actually really enjoyed making. Yeah. But the audience is like, wow, this feels so forced. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like, it's like, not really. We, we had a great time filming this. I've, I've noticed <laughs> that with, with sponsored things. It doesn't matter. Like, uh, there, There's always going to be this one specific group of people who are like, this is sponsored. It's all scripted. It's all shit. Yeah. It's all, you know. Yeah. Hashtag ad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so like do you interact with fans much at all like because you know we talked about how it's packs this weekend obviously and mm -hmm. maybe you should do a meet and greet or something but have you ever had like a proper meet and greet where you've met lots of fans i i've never had a like a planned meet and greet per se but there was uh, i was making a video and we were at a uh, a like a concert festival and uh, there in Sweden, in Stockholm, there was a lot of people who recognized me and mm. I couldn't wear the balaclava, obviously, because that's like very illegal. Mm. So I talked to the, the police there and they said that if I wore like, you know, those uh, the masks that sick people have and uh, like sunglasses and a hoodie, that that would be OK. Mm. And then mm. anyways, people still like recognized me wow, and my yeah. dad and there wow. was just a lot of people <laughs> and I was really scared because you know I, I don't know I'm gonna get fucking stabbed or something but the, <laughs> IRL were, knife yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> Papa Neve Papa Neve but yeah they, they've all Go been fly. really nice <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Graham, if you if you went to PAX tomorrow or whatever would you do you reckon you'd wear the balaclava I Think you could, I mean, if I mean, he gets in like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. if, if we had to talk to, to security and they know who, yeah. who we are and all that, so if, if, we, if I was can, allowed to, definitely, like, you, yeah, yeah, because I think I'm, you could. I think it's fun over it's just sometimes before you do something that's a lot of like fan interaction or something, you're kind of nervous and you're like, you know, how is this going to go? Yeah. Or so, yeah. Yeah. are people going to be like assholes? Is there going to be like, yeah, is there, you know, I always think like, oh, there's going to be that one 14 year old that runs up to me and take my, take yeah, my exactly, exactly. Yeah, I think rips so, so. off your ball, uh -huh. clava, you know, but something to worry about. Never really then you just think about happens. drop kicking them. You know, they're <laughs> just, you know, it's usually just like, you know, most of the people that go to them are you know, just gamer kids. Yeah, exactly. Just Everyone's meek, social so awkward nice. gamer kids. No one wants to be mm. that asshole. They're yeah. all that pussies. Does it, you know, <laughs> yeah. They're all Anyone pussies. who talks in your comment section, they will never do it. Never in real do life. anything. First year at PAX, I remember Swagger, uh, he put a can on like a, a pillar by the side of the road and he went to crush it with his helmet, like by headbutting it. And the helmet went off, <laughs> and oh, he was directly yeah. outside the convention center. That was I did fucked. not have the whole chainmail <laughs> balaclava shit. thing at the time. This was a very recent addition. Yeah. It was just the helmet. So mm. it, it came off. It was wearing the chainmail, and it, like when I had like three or four people crowd around <laughs> yeah, me you just hear to a scream stop, <laughs> to, to, to stop people from looking or taking video, oh, really? and I just slipped it back on. Okay, yeah. Yeah. That, it was pretty good. I had the same sort of thing uh, when I went to the this <clears> concert the second time. And uh, the second time I was actually there with uh, Fnatic, which is like, you know, yep. you, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah. And they, they had gotten like a little area where we could be. And I had to get from, from like the, the line to that area. 
And obviously I couldn't wear the balaclava all the time because mm. there was going to be people crowding and whatever. So I just walked up with no mask and then I just sat there and then I took on the mask and everyone was like, whoa, after I put <laughs> on the mask, that's the, the good thing about like not many people knowing yeah. what you look like. Cause right. I, I'm, no you one blend knows. in. Yeah, exactly. And then yeah. when I put on the mask, everyone was like, yo, I feel like a super, I feel like Batman, yeah. dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was no one without the mask. Me, me and you could probably walk on the floor of packs wearing nothing and no one would bat yeah, an eye. Probably, as long yeah. as we don't talk. I think that probably yeah. 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 We don't iconic voices. Yeah. We got two iconic voices. Yeah. Yeah. I think sound very Australian. I think people would probably bat an eye if you went and wearing nothing. But uh, <laughs> yeah. maybe if you went without the mask. Yeah, wearing nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Wearing nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do, you get, do you ever get like, and this probably applies to you as well, like irrational anxiety without when you're in public without the mask on that someone somehow might know what you look like? I used to, not anymore. Yeah, like, I used to as well, but then I realized like if someone knows, I can't stop them, and yeah. I just I just don't have the effort. Like people have you know recognized me in public without the mask, and usually I'm just like if they want a picture. Sometimes I'm like yeah sure, and sometimes I just don't. Uh, I am like no no, but it it just depends. Like yeah. I I don't really care that much. You know, if someone recognized me without the mask, I just be like you know hey don't take a picture, but it's nice to meet you and talk yeah. with them. I've been recognized without my mask before, mm. a couple of times. Um, and each time it's just like, hey, you know, just don't take your phone out, don't take your camera out. And usually, they're like, oh no, 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 I would not, I wouldn't, I don't want to be that guy that would ever do that. Like, it's cool to yeah. meet you, so that's what you look like. Oh, and yeah, it's like, you know, and it's it is good. You, you, I I went from assuming everybody has bad intentions or that you know worried that they might have bad intentions to now like being like, oh well, the majority of the people that know me would only have good intentions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't want to ruin it. Most of the people that uh, would know enough about you to be able to figure out what you look like would be the people that are such big fans that they would never want to expose yeah. it, you know? Yeah. yeah, you know, and they get to feel special. I know yeah. what he looks like, mm-hmm. you know, so it's cool. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not, I used to be a big fucking juju about it. I used to be really freaked out and mm-hmm. paranoid and anxious, but now I just figure... You know, even walking around with you, I mean, you're a fucking landmark. I <laughs> <laughs> want to spot you from a mile away and just immediately assume, oh, that fucking guy that's wearing black pants, yeah, that's Swagger Souls, because mm-hmm. you always wear black pants. And then, you know, it's just whatever. Mm-hmm. If someone takes a picture of me can't without the it, fucking right? helmet on, can't stop it, it's fucking whatever. Yeah, it's the same, like, in the beginning, I was also very, like, paranoid. You'd see people looking mm-hmm. and you were like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. but then it, it's, it just gets to a point where it doesn't matter. Like you, you don't care enough to like, you can't stop it, you know? No. So just, yeah. you know, yeah. try to do what you can to prevent it. But you, just you know, don't just let it, you don't let it get in the way of your life. Yeah. You know, exactly. don't let it prevent you from doing things. Mm-hmm. And yeah. yeah, that's pretty much basically, I guess my philosophy and I guess is so yeah. fucking, <laughs> you guys are yeah, yeah, so yeah, well. exactly. Yeah, Holy the shit. Two just finally men. have another man in a mask. <laughs> yeah. I think this thumbnail is going to get us demonetized, though. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> That's too much terrorism for us. Um, <laughs> world terrorists. Yeah, the cube world terrorists. <laughs> True. You drop some bombs for my hang gliding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At Papa Normal, you never get like uh, anxious out in public, like, oh, I wonder if some idiot's going to come up to me and or whatever. Or I guess. No, not really. I mean, the fans love you, right? So the most always Yeah, everybody is very nice and kind and. Um, Sometimes when I'm hungover, I feel more like yeah. so I want to <laughs> leave me alone. All the time. <laughs> yeah, every day. Right. What, so is it like a, at least a once a week thing you'll get recognized? or? Yeah. Wow. It's pretty much wow. every time I go to the mall or going shopping or something. Right. Yeah. And the sad thing, well, not sad, but it's when the whole family's out, he and um, my wife walks like... 1500 oh, yeah. meters ahead oh, and I yeah. go after oh. <laughs> <laughs> my mom she she kind of she wants to distance herself from everything because he sure. she has like a pretty serious job and you know she doesn't want to get involved mm. with all of this, <laughs> this <laughs> craziness you know so uh, but yeah there's some fans that are kind of I'm sure you you've had the same experience sometimes that they're the people that like follow you but they don't dare to say hi kind of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, they just want to watch like you from a distance. Yeah, exactly. Like I was going to a mall <laughs> in Sweden and you know going to different stores and they would all they would follow us and they would look at us but mm-hmm. they never came up. It's even it got to the point where we got go, went to a restaurant to go have dinner and they would just be sitting like <laughs> pretending to have dinner in the restaurant like they'd say like yeah i want some water and they just sit there really? like kids you know what so that was like oh, okay. <laughs> yeah 
But you the just, people that come up and they say hi, you know, they're nice and chill. Course, you know, mm. hey, you just pretend to be security. You know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just wear a suit and an earpiece at all times. <laughs> yeah. Escort him around. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Okay. Well, I mean, we're at an hour. Uh, is there anything you wanted to bring up or promote or shout out or? Not really. I mean, I mean people know where to find you. Anomaly yeah. on YouTube. A N O M. Anomaly. You said you dropped out of college. Drop it dry, kid. Definitely fucking dropped out of college. A N O M A L Y. Yeah. Probably. Anomaly. Yeah. It's anomaly, guys. Anomaly. Anomaly on Twitch or anomaly XD, right? Yeah. Yeah. No anomaly now on Twitch. Look for the guy shouting Kneef, and you'll find them. Yeah. Kill it. On Twitter, it's anomaly XD because anomaly is already taken by a company and they blocked me because apparently, apparently my like people. Tag them instead of me. Uh, and they just, same yeah. thing happens to Fitz. It does. It does. Oh Not yeah, to, they but there's do. a band called Fitz yeah. and the Tantrums. Uh -huh. mm. And uh, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Pop Anomaly, uh, Pop Anomaly. On, on Twitter. Give it your own channel or just the the combo one. Just yeah. mm. he has his own channel, but he doesn't post that much. Just no. some some music stuff. Of course. Well. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for coming on the show, guys. It's yeah, been awesome. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Yeah. Time. We'll, we'll play CSGO sometime. Yeah, yeah. Sure. it'll be fun. Easy. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Later, boys. Bye. Deuces. Bye. <laughs>